Hi, my name is Matt Hatfield. I'm a co-owner of Parkway Music. This is my partner, Tom. Hello. We're here today to uh, talk about uh, the new Paul Reed Smith private stock, McCarty 594 hollow body with tremolo. Uh, we at Parkway Music ordered the first three of these guitars uh, from Paul Reed, and they came out unbelievable, exceeded our expectations. Uh, the guitar itself, is beautiful and amazing to play. Adding a tremolo to it just sent it over the top. So in uh, 2019, I made a trip down to Maryland to the Paul Reed Smith factory to pick out wood to build our first uh, round of private stock guitars and it was just an amazing experience. So after we got settled, we, uh, we took a tour of the factory and I was super anxious to see the wood, you know, that's what it's all about, man. I want to pick out that awesome wood to build these guitars. So, uh, you know, they take us around the shop floor and I see these pallets and stacks. It's like, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, warehouse at the end, you know, just wood everywhere. And I'm like, oh, this is the wood. And I... I break away from the group and I'm like looking through these piles of maple and mahogany and ebony and all this stuff. And Paul Miles is like, no, no, that's not it. That's not the stuff. I'm like, this, this looks great. He's like, no, no, no. So travel through the shop a little more, see the, see the fact, see it in, op in operation, see it in action. And uh, we get to a, uh, the next floor and it says wood library. And I'm like, oh, this is where it is. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I head over there and Paul's like, no, no, this isn't it. And then, Third floor, we go up and I, he brings me to this, you know, hallway and I see these two big wooden doors and above the doors it says wood vault. And he's like, here's where the wood is. So really, uh, really cool. So we're in the wood vault and, um, you know, it's just the, the cream of the crop. It's the best stuff that they get in. They, they sort through all the wood uh, meticulously and just the, the best stuff, the most resonant, the most figured, that all goes... That all goes to the wood vault, and um, that's where our adventure really, uh, really started with the, the builds of these guitars. Okay, so we're starting the process, and uh, you know we got wood laid out on the table, and uh, you know I'm talking to the them about uh, what I want to build and one thing I wanted to do was uh, McCarty hollow body 594 and we're talking about that and I just on the on the we flew there on the plane ride I'm like you know what I wonder if they've ever done one with a trem so I say to Paul Miles uh, you know how about putting a tremolo on this thing and he literally scratches his head and goes wait a minute I've been working on this he leaves the room and he comes back with a hollow body body, raw, no finish on it, just the body with routed for the tremolo. And he says to me, I just figured out how to do this. And I'm like, you're kidding me. Well, let's do it. Let's build one. And it was super exciting. It was the first, you know, just a moment when I had an idea. He had just been working on it himself. So a real serendipity there. And, uh, yeah, so we were uh, choosing wood on, on this particular, you know, hollow body uh, with trim. I, I really was into uh, doing a Brazilian rosewood neck, so that's what this one has. Beautiful Brazilian rosewood neck, super resonant, warm, just feels great in your hand, you know, oil finish, real nice. And uh, so we're looking for, um, you know, maple tops and backs for these, and you know, I'm looking on these shelves, looking through the wood, and I see two boards that are banded together, unlike the other ones that are on the shelf. And I'm like, what's this? And he, Paul, like, uh, Paul Miles says, oh, that's kind of special. Yeah. And he comes over and he said that as he was sorting through the wood, he found some East Coast curly maple that was from the same tree. Like he could tell the boards were actually from the same tree. So, which isn't, typical you know a lot of times you know you pick a nice back you can pick a nice top but there they could be just you know random boards that came in but this is actually made of one tree the back and the top super cool 
um, McCarty Glow finish, which we uh, we left a little light on the edges to really let that you know the curl of the maple show through. Um, you know, beautiful mahogany center, Brazilian rosewood. You know, matching back plate killer. Uh, just tasty, very classy. Sounds amazing. Uh, yeah. So. And the very first one ever built. Right. So this was the first one that we we designed. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, just to cut ahead a little bit in the story. So I, I get back here to the shop and I'm telling my partner, Tom, hey, you know, I built, I built these, you know, four or five awesome Paul Reeds and I built the first McCarty hollow body with trim that they ever made. I got an awesome one, Brazilian rosewood neck, you know, maple, beautiful uh, one piece maple or one tree maple. And he goes, well, at this point, well, yeah, I was vibrating. I, was like, I can't believe this. You're, you're, we're getting the very first hollow body with a trim that they're ever going to make, ever. So being the guitar nerd I am, I, I was kind of overwhelmed and, and honestly vibrating. So, uh, but about two minutes went by, and I, and I went and found Matt, and I, I had to tell him, I, I don't think we should get the first one. Um, he said, what do you mean you, you don't want to get the first one? I said, no, we should get the first three. What, what are we doing? There's yeah. a... You know, this is an awesome opportunity that we're being presented with, and wouldn't it be great if we could do some different builds and get the first three? So Matt made the phone call, and uh, that's right. That's what we were able to do. Yeah, and, and we uh, so we uh, we built these other other two beautiful ones. Here's a uh, a really nice quilted maple one um, in aqua violet glow. It's just super awesome color, just like deep like the ocean really nice purple to blue transition um this one got a uh a really nice ebony fretboard with uh power inlays you know purple and blue which matched the finish and then a really beautiful stain to match curly maple neck yeah just ridiculous ebony buttons awesome the second one uh is a one-piece quilt top which is extraordinary. Uh, Rainforest Glow, which is, it truly looks like there's a light on inside the guitar. It's pretty amazing. Uh, gorgeous Brazilian board, Brazilian bird, Brazilian tuning pegs, uh, a figured or figgled fiddleback mahogany neck and sides, which is just gorgeous. Uh, it's a beautiful weight, uh, just truly, truly stunning. Again, with the, the pow inlays. Picked them out to be a little more on the green side to match the guitar, matching headstock. Uh, it's just nothing short of spectacular. It could be the most flawless guitar I've ever seen. Yeah, that's true. These guitars are really, <clears throat> they, they exceeded our expectations. You know, they, they are from, you know, headstock <laughs> to strap button on the end, the most perfect instruments we've ever seen. You know, they just... It's, they really are flawless. Those guys do such a tremendous job in the private stock shop of just making each one. You know, we built, I don't know what it is, six of them, and they, they were all really just stunningly top craftsmanship. So some of the other private stocks that Matt designed and picked out the wood for that day, uh, this is a Custom 24 uh, and turquoise smoke burst. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous top. Ebony board, uh, beautiful, beautiful flame maple neck. Uh, what I like to say, two swimming pools uh, in the back, in, in the blue as well. Uh, again, beautiful curly mahogany back as well. It's a great weight and uh, extremely resonant. Uh, just, a, just a beautiful, spectacular instrument. Well done. Thank you. So here's a Custom 22 that I built a um, beautiful guitar. I found this piece of wood, which is really super interesting. It's maple, it's a uh, West Coast maple, and it isn't really your typical, uh, you know, quilt or a flame. It's just very, there's a lot going on, a uh, real, uh, real interesting top. And the finish is dirty blonde, which really brings out all the, all the detail. Uh, really nice. This has an um, exotic ebony fretboard. Gorgeous, uh, the back, it's a roasted curly maple neck. 
uh, satin finish. Feels really good. So this one is a semi-hollow special out of figured redwood. Uh, again, spectacular. Uh, ebony board, curly maple tuning pegs, uh, beautiful figured mahogany neck and back, figured maple covers uh, that were stained to look like the rest of it. It's just, again, spectacular. Uh, beautiful weight, extremely resonant. You know, it's the small details like the maple along the fingerboard that just really make this guitar really super, super special. Uh, yeah, it's a dream. Really wonderful. And every sound in that guitar is really usable. That's one thing we should mention as well, like the electronics of these. You know, sometimes you'll get a, a guitar with, uh, you know, eight sounds or something, and you're like, ah, you know, the main three are the ones, but th that instrument really, that middle pickup sounds amazing. Um, you know, Humbuckers Alone, Series Parallel, really outstanding. Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, the folks at Paul Reed Smith, uh, Paul Miles, Tina Sears, Peter Schultzke, and especially Paul Smith himself for uh, showing us such a good time and doing such amazing work.